Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. One of the most constant questions I get often has to do with people owning a printer and realizing that they have to go out of town for lengths of time that will be detrimental to the printer's health. Now you have two choices. Set up a program such as QImage, QImage 1 if you have a Mac, and have it run a purge cycle. This is a very intricately designed series of lines that will then exercise every one of your cartridges, every one of your colors, every one of your channels, a certain number of hours, every few hours or every few days, whatever you choose to set it for. It has full scheduling feature. So that's one way to do it, but that means you have to own that program. So what if you do not? What if you're just going to go away, say, for two, three, four, five, six months at a time? That's a whole different scenario. See, the purge printing or schedule purge printing feature of QImage is really meant for no more than a couple of weeks. I mean, be realistic. You have to leave the printer on, you have to leave your computer on, and you have to leave QImage running and have that scheduler activate it so while you are gone and of course have enough ink in the printer have enough paper in the printer and remember if it's a canon printer every 60 hours is going to run that cleaning cycle so you have to have enough of everything available while you are gone so what if you just want to completely shut down your printer for a number of months and dare i say even a year well, there are some printers, and depending on your environmental conditions, that will probably allow you to get away with just simply turning it off, crossing your fingers, and coming back a year later, cranking it back up. And, you know, after a cleaning cycle that I'm sure is going to throw automatically, regardless of make, Epson and Canon will do that regardless maybe maybe you can run a nozzle check after that and maybe you can have a relatively good result that will be solved after a couple of cleaning cycles after that well there are other ways to approach this if you already know you're going to be away for a year say someone in the military and they're going to go to europe or or the orient and you know they're going to be gone for two to three years how do i prep a printer for long-term storage. Well, if it's a Canon printer, it's quite easy, quite easy, but it will cost you some money. And it depends on the model, whether you want to do this or not. Remove the print head. That's it. When you come back, get a new print head and start all over again. That is the best and most reliable way to make sure your printer will be in operating condition when you come back. Of course, many of you will say, no way, I'm not going to do that. So how can you do that? Well, how can you get away with that? Well, you could always flush the printhead, but that's an iffy proposition because the process is a little bit invasive and you may damage the electronics of the printhead. So it's not something that I would recommend. What could you do then? Well, one way that you can possibly get away with this is to own a printer like the Pro 100, get a set of refillable cartridges. You don't really need high quality for this particular situation or a set of modified cartridges that you may already own. Nice pristine ones like these. Prepare enough of that rejuvenation fluid Go back to my video and you will see the formula for that. It is made with distilled water, alcohol, denatured alcohol or isopropyl alcohol actually, and some glycerin. Glycerin slash glycerol. Glycerol is what we call it in the lab. Glycerin is what the drugstore calls it. Glycerin is what makes that liquid able to coat the inside of your printhead and not dry it up in other words yes so here's what you would do fill a set of these cartridges with that rejuvenation fluid pop them in your printer 
after you remove the regular ink cartridges, go ahead and seal the vent. Go ahead and put a clip on the bottom, stick them in a plastic Ziploc bag, put them away. You may want them later. They may or may not be good. You know, I'm talking about a year here. So try anyway. Install the cartridges refill with the rejuvenation fluid and run cleaning cycles until your nozzle check is perfectly clear as if nothing printed. You could, if you want to, add a little bit of cyan or magenta dye to your mixture and that will allow you to see your nozzle check that is indeed printing something and it should be all the same color. All the channels should be exactly the same color whatever amount of dye you added to that solution. Just a small amount is all you need. Run that rejuvenation fluid until the printhead is completely flushed. Turn it off at the button, unplug it, load that unit inside a plastic trash bag, tape it up and leave it in a cool area of your house. Nothing too hot. Some people will leave and leave the uh, air conditioner off. Well, it just depends on what your conditions are. When you come back, again, you may have to replace that printhead, but if you're lucky, the fluid will have maintained that printhead perfectly unclogged. At this point, you load your ink cartridges back on, run a couple of cleaning cycles followed by nozzle checks, and when you are printing full ink again, luckily that will be the case, you'll be ready to go again. Or, like I said before, you may have to install a new printhead. And that will actually get you back to almost new condition anyway. Now, Epson cartridges. By the way, this will not really work for this. This will not really work for the Pro One either. This will only work on printers that have cartridges that ride on the printhead carriage so that you can quickly flush out the ink quickly replace it with that particular fluid, which will then maintain your printhead in good condition until you are back from whatever it is you need it to tend to. Now let's talk about Epson printers. Epson printers have totally different printheads. They are not user replaceable unless you're a service tech. You could do the same thing, but it's a little bit more difficult on printers such as this. I'll use Canon as an example stationary cartridges, miles and miles of ink lines, internal compartments, printhead dampers, all of them full of ink. You would have to literally do a complete flush of the system. You will lose a ton of ink, which you will then have to replace to push out the liquid you fill those internal compartments with. So yeah, it's an expensive process in one that I just, you know, don't recommend. If you have one of these, please have someone come over every week and use it at least, you know, that way it will, it will kind of keep itself going. I hope they know about printers, by the way. It could be worse than good if they do not. So on a Epson printer, again, the same thing, Epson refillable cartridges, but this time I would recommend an actual product. PSO flush. Now, PSO flush is not cheap, but it is intended specifically for long term storage of printers. In other words, prepping a printer for storage, you would use PSO flush. Secondarily, it also acts as a really good unclogger, by the way. But you would do the same thing you would fill up your cartridges, flush out the complete system until you are printing only nozzle checks that contain pink. Why pink? Because that's what the solution's color is. It's a clear solution, but it does not evaporate, so it will maintain everything in great shape while you are away. I would go ahead and leave the cartridges in place. Once you have flushed the system, make sure you have enough ink left in, Make sure all your vent holes are plugged. The same thing with the cannon. Make sure that all your vents are covered up before you leave. Remember, you fill these with the so-called rejuvenation fluid. It is made out of alcohol and water. It will evaporate. So make sure you seal that vent, okay? 
when you come back make sure you unseal it okay or you will have problems with these make sure that the plug there's a little area here for a plug a vent plug make sure you put that vent plug in place after you have flushed out all of the ink the same thing here i already have a vent plug installed these are for the r3000 the same type of cartridge would be for the p600 okay so again the same procedure except this time you're using a proprietary product that actually is intended for that purpose i would not use it on a canon printer because i don't know whether it is compatible with canon print heads so, so i wouldn't want to put my foot in my mouth and tell you guys to use piezo flush when they may not be uh, suitable for your canon printers and that is it when you come back again it's going to cost you money because you have to run that fluid out push it out with what with ink expensive ink if you're using oem okay if you have internal waste ink pads that's going to cost a lot of uh filling whether it's clear fluid or not it's still considered waste okay with something like this with something like the p800 any of the epson large format printers they have user replaceable waste ink containers or cartridges no problem you just have to have several of them to allow you to you know perform this exchange yeah you know what the best option is sell it <laughs> sell it and when you come back buy a new printer but if you are stubborn like me i would come up with a way to save my printer while i am away again pro 100 pro 10 oh i just buy a new print it don't don't even bother unless i'm really really one of those people that needs to have their finger on every little aspect of the printer this one oh my gosh i hope i never have to go away uh, that would be a nightmare I, I will give it away i will sell it to someone for very little money because i know when i come back i'm going to have to buy a new one because this is just going to be it's just economically unfeasible to do this kind of a process unless you're refilling and refilling with cheap inks which you would not be using on a printer such as this anyway you see what i mean so it's just not worth it so long story short you know me i'm long-winded long story short short number of weeks three four five six weeks q image print something every two or three days through q image come back chances are your printer will be just fine especially a canon printer with its you know preempted cleaning cycles it'll be fine epson printers 95 percent, it'll be fine you might need a couple of cleaning cycles maybe no more than one to get your printer back in line and printing 100 percent. more than months yeah that gets a little touchy at that point piezo flush works beautifully on epson printers pretty much guaranteed perform this process that i just kind of walked you through not so much for the cans okay so again i may not have the answer everyone was wanting to hear okay the perfect solution for me going off for one year somewhere and then coming back and having that printer give me a big welcome hug when i get home and say hey daddy i'm printing perfectly thanks to you no it may not work okay sometimes yes sometimes no all right that is it thank you so much again subscribe as always click that little bell ding dong ding dong and tell it to notify you when i upload something new that is it for now again it's all about commitment to your printers it's not something to be taken lightly because it does require a lot of commitment and that's i think is the main thing that people kind of forget to think about not to mention all of the other side items that you need to successfully be able to print beautiful color prints and black and white of course monochrome that is that's enough happy printing everybody bye bye